Hello friends, today you will see what all of McLeod's stars look like now versus when they were on the show. You will know their real names and ages. I will show you how they looked then and what's with them now in 2023. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. Let's go! Number 1. J.D. Cannon as Peter Clifford As the maestro of the 27th Precinct, Clifford expects nothing short of excellence from his team. Like a conductor leading a symphony, he orchestrates the harmonious collaboration of detectives, pushing them to their limits and beyond. With unwavering dedication, he molds his team into a formidable force, unified by their shared commitment to upholding the law. He has little patience for shortcuts or hasty conclusions. In his world, every piece of evidence matters, and every detail is a potential breakthrough. Peter Clifford, played by J.D. Cannon, when he was 48 years old. Sadly, Cannon died of natural causes at his home in Hudson, New York, on May 20, 2005, at the age of 83. Number 2. Terry Carter as Joe Broadhurst With the precision of a bloodhound and the intuition of a seasoned detective, Joe navigates the treacherous maze of criminality, leaving no puzzle unsolved. Joe possesses an innate ability to sense the truth lurking beneath layers of deceit, unveiling secrets that even the most cunning criminals attempt to conceal. In the hallowed halls of law enforcement, Joe is a legend, revered by his colleagues for his unwavering professionalism and unruffled composure in the most perilous situations. Joe Broadhurst, played by Terry Carter when he was 48 years old. And now... He is 94 years old. Number 3. Ken Lynch as Grover Say, you are being engulfed by a surge of vibrant energy, a force of nature that crackles with life right before your eyes. That's when you meet Grover, a captivating being whose personality knows no boundaries, transforming the world around him from monochrome to a dazzling kaleidoscope of colors. With the gracefulness of a tightrope walker and the cleverness of a comedic virtuoso, he embellishes every scene with uproarious laughter, truly a master of amusement. Grover played by Ken Lynch when he was 60 years old. Sadly, Lynch died at age 79 from a virus on February 13, 1990 in Burbank, California. Number 4. Diana Moldar as... Chris Coughlin. With the air crackling with anticipation, Chris storms onto the stage armed with fresh perspective and an unyielding sense of justice. Her presence is electrifying, injecting a burst of energy into every investigation she undertakes. Chris is more than just a lone crusader. She thrives in the embrace of teamwork, a virtuoso in the art of collaboration. Like a masterful ensemble, she harmonizes with her colleagues their combined efforts creating a powerful symphony of justice. Chris Coughlin, played by Diana Maldar when she was 32 years old, and now she is 84 years old. Number 5. Sidney Clute as Sims There will always be a fire within Sims, an unquenchable thirst for justice that borders on obsession. He's a relentless hunter, pursuing leads with an unyielding determination that knows no bounds. Sleepless nights and restless days are his reality, fueled by an unbreakable resolve to bring the guilty to justice. Sims is a force to be reckoned with, a hurricane of justice in a world plagued by darkness. Sims was played by Sidney Clute when he was 54 years old. Sadly, Clute died on October 2, 1985, of cancer at the St. George Hospital in Los Angeles, California, at the age of 69. Number 6. Dennis Weaver as Sam McLeod Imagine a man clad in a Stetson hat, his boots echoing with every step as he seamlessly blends his small-town charm with big-city savvy. McLeod is a breath of fresh air in the world of law enforcement, relying not only on his badge, but also on his sharp instincts and unorthodox methods to crack cases that baffle his colleagues. He's a master of adaptation, effortlessly riding the line between cowboy roots and the fast-paced rhythm of New York City. Sam McLeod played by Dennis Weaver when he was 46 years old. 
Sadly, Weaver died of complications from prostate cancer at his home in Ridgeway, Colorado on February 24, 2006, at the age 81. Number 7. Ken Scott as Polk Come across as a guy known for his calm and composed demeanor, Polk always maintains a cool head, even in the most intense situations. He's highly intelligent and analytical, often relying on his sharp observation skills to solve complex cases. Polk's attention to detail is unmatched, allowing him to notice subtle clues and connections that others might overlook. He's a team player, always willing to collaborate and share his expertise with his colleagues. Polk was played by Ken Scott when he was 54 years old. Sadly, he died of unknown causes on December 2, 1986, in Los Angeles, California. He was 58 years old. Number 8. John Finnegan as First Desk Sergeant A realm where pandemonium reigns, where the constant ebb and flow of officers seeking direction threatens to engulf all in disarray. In this realm, the first desk sergeant emerges as the guiding force, the orchestrator of order in a whirlwind of commotion. Their mastery over the intricacies of task delegation is nothing short of awe-inspiring, ensuring that every officer is assigned a purpose, a role in the grand tapestry of law enforcement. First desk sergeant, was played by John Finnegan when he was 44 years old. Sadly, Finnegan died on July 29, 2012, at his home in Palm Desert, California, from complications of pneumonia, aged 85. Number 9. Terry Garr as Phyllis Norton Phyllis, an adept journalist, embodies an astute mind and an unwavering commitment to uncovering reality. Fearlessly venturing into perilous circumstances, she embraces risks and goes beyond the ordinary to capture the essence of a story. With an indomitable spirit and resourcefulness, she commands respect both within the newsroom and out in the field. Additionally, Phyllis exemplifies compassion and empathy, acknowledging the significance of amplifying the voices of the marginalized and exposing societal inequities. Phyllis Norton played by Terry Garr when she was 26 years old and now she is 78 years old. Number 10. Tracy Reed as Carol Broadhurst As the camera lens focuses on Carol Broadhurst, we witness the depth of her love. Like a tender embrace that never wavers, Carol envelops Joe with an unwavering warmth, offering solace and understandings in times of turmoil. In her eyes, we glimpse the unspoken bond that unites their souls, a testament to the power of a love that knows no bounds. Though her screen time may be limited, Carol's impact resonates far beyond mere minutes on celluloid. Carol Broadhurst played by Tracy Reed when she was 21 years old, and now she is 74 years old. We miss McLeod Film Class so much. Thanks for watching, guys. Please like and share the video and subscribe to the channel. Thank you. See you on the next video.